The platoons are now being aligned from left to right in order to get them into their exact positions for the parade. The next portion of the ceremony will be our national anthem. We welcome veterans and members of the armed forces to join us in rendering appropriate honors with a military salute. For guests who have not served in the military, it is proper etiquette during the national anthem to place their right hand over their hearts and for those in the audience wearing headgear to remove it. Will the guests please rise for the presentation of the colors. Ladies and gentlemen, our national anthem. Thank you. Please be seated.
Following the command, parade rest, the parade adjutant will give the command sound off, which signals the band to parade forward of the assembled Marines while playing military marching music. Thank you. 
the parade adjutant now presents the assembled command to the commander of troops. At the command, Officer Center March, all unit commanders and guide on bearers march to the front and center of the formation. Historically, it was at this point that commanding officers would issue orders and instructions to the unit commanders. Following this, the unit leaders would face about, return to their units, and pass the information along to their Marines.
Throughout our nation's history, millions of men and women have earned the title United States Marine. Many who have helped shape our history join us here today. In keeping with the tradition of once a Marine, always a Marine, we would like to recognize them. At this time, those in the audience who have served as Marines, please rise. Thank you. Please be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, the Battalion Commander for First Recruit Training Battalion, Lieutenant Colonel Gregory A. Grayson. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of our Commanding General, Brigadier General Morris, and the Regimental Commander, Colonel Jones, Welcome to Marine Corps Recruit Depot San Diego and the graduation ceremony for Bravo Company! I'd also like to extend a special welcome to today's parade reviewing official, Master Gunner Sergeant Hunt, who, after 30 years of dedicated service to Corps and Country, is enjoying his well-deserved retirement here in the San Diego area. Welcome, Master Guns. It's a pleasure to have you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the purpose of today's ceremony is to recognize these new Marines and everything they've accomplished. Their journey began 13 long weeks ago when they stepped on the yellow footprints and committed to becoming Marines. They arrived as individuals, perhaps a little unsure their decision, but stand before you as a confident team of smartly disciplined Marines. During the past three months, we developed their physical and mental toughness, they learned essential warfighting skills, and they proved themselves to be leaders of character. But most of all, they came to embrace our core values of honor, courage, and commitment with a clear understanding that being a Marine carries a special trust and confidence in the highest expectations of the American people. Now. As you might imagine, this awesome and very magical transformation, it didn't happen by itself, and I'd like to thank those who were involved. First, we recognize each Marine sturdy started long before they got here. The foundation of their character started with you, in your homes, in your schools, in your communities. I want to thank all the parents, families, friends, as well as teachers and coaches for everything you've done. I assure you that your love and your support was vital to their success. So thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Now I'd like to turn your attention to the Marines wearing the distinctive campaign covers, our drill instructors. It's impossible for me to put into words their passion, work ethic, and commitment. From the moment a recruit arrives, there is a drill instructor with them 24 hours a day, seven days a week. They have spent every waking hour teaching, training, mentoring, and leading these young men. Ladies and gentlemen, these drill instructors have made a tremendous and lasting impact on your loved one. And I'd be remiss if I didn't also recognize their spouses and their families who sacrificed equally for the benefit of your new Marine. So please join me in a well-deserved round of applause for the drill instructors and spouses and families of Bravo Company. <laughs> Finally, I'd like to recognize our highly skilled marksmanship, martial arts, water survival, and academics instructors, our incredible chaplain, corpsman, and entire medical team who do an amazing job at ensuring our physical, mental, and spiritual readiness. And of course, the dedicated recruiter who saw potential in your Marine. In fact, Sergeant Cole Morauer is joining us from Weapons Field Training Battalion, where he coached and trained the platoon with the highest rifle range score. And next to him is Sergeant Manzi, who's joining us from Fort Worth, Texas, where he recruited today's honorman. Job well done, gentlemen. Keep up the great work. Finally, ladies and gentlemen, if you'll please excuse me, I'd like to address the new Marines one last time as their battalion commander. Good morning, Marines! 
Hey, Bravo Company, I know it seems like a lifetime ago when you were offered the challenge of becoming a Marine. When you arrived on your buses and stepped on the yellow footprints, graduation was the last thing on your mind. You're probably thinking, what have I gotten myself into and how do I get these guys to stop yelling at me? Well, you had a lot to learn and some very steep hills to climb, but you did it. You have rightfully earned the title Marine. Be proud of your accomplishment and the uniform you now wear. And finally, as I remarked on your first day of training, whether you serve for four years or 30 years like Master Guns, remember, it's not about you. It's about all the Marines who have gone before you whose legacy you are now a part of. It's about that Marine standing to your left and to your right. It's about all these people in the stands in this great nation which you sworn to defend. So, serve with honor, serve with courage, serve with commitment, and you'll do well. Congratulations again, Marines, on your tremendous achievement. Please, take care of one another and remain Semper Fidelis. And gentlemen, it is my pleasure to introduce to you America's newest United States Marines. Now taking the position in the reviewing area is today's parade reviewing official, Master Gunner Sergeant Stephen M. Hunt Jr., United States Marine Corps, retired. He is accompanied by Sergeant Major Paul F. Agin, Sergeant Major Recruit Training Regiment. Master Gunnery Sergeant Stephen M. Hunt, Jr., United States Marine Corps, retired. Master Gunnery Sergeant Hunt was born in Quantico, Virginia in 1972 and enlisted in the Marine Corps in May 1992. He completed recruit training at India Company, 3rd Battalion, Marine Corps Recruit Depot, Paris Island, South Carolina, in August 1992. Upon completion of recruit training, he reported to Marine Combat Training, Camp Geiger, North Carolina, in September 1992 and then Field Artillery School in Fort Sill, Oklahoma in October of 1992. Master Gunnery Sergeant Hunt has served in a variety of challenging billets in numerous commands to include Artillerymen at 1st Battalion, 11th Marine Regiment, Camp Pendleton, California, Drill Instructor and Senior Drill Instructor for Company M, 3rd Battalion, Marine Corps Crew Depot, Paris Island, South Carolina, Company Gunnery Sergeant at Marine Security Guard Battalion, Quantico, Virginia, Operations Chief at G1, Headquarters Group, 3rd Marine Expeditionary Force, Senior Enlisted Advisor for the Sergeant Major of the Marine Corps, and Chief at G1, 1st Marine Expeditionary Force, Camp Pendleton, California. Master Gunnery Sergeant Hunt's personal decorations include the Legion of Merit, the Meritorious Service Medal, the Military Outstanding Volunteer Service Medal, the Navy and Marine Corps Commendation Medal with one gold star in lieu of second award, the Navy and Marine Corps Achievement Medal with three gold stars in lieu of fourth award, and the Good Conduct Medal with nine bronze stars in lieu of tenth award. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Master Gunnery Sergeant Stephen M. Hunt, Jr.
More than a million Marines have been trained here in the past 100 years and have departed San Diego for combat in conflicts around the world, including places whose names are immediately associated with Marine courage and dedication. Names such as Guadalcanal, Tarawa, Iwo Jima, Pusan, Incheon, Chosen Reservoir, Quezon, Way City, Lebanon, Granada, Panama, Kuwait, Somalia, Fallujah, Ramadi, Marjah, Sangen, and our most current operations worldwide. This parade deck is rich in history and tradition, and no Marine trained here ever forgets its sights and sounds. Commander of Troops, First Sergeant Jason D. Brooks, Company First Sergeant and the Regimental Staff. Ladies and gentlemen, as the national flag passes directly in front of you, please rise. Once it passes, you may be seated. Marine Men San Diego, Marine Corps for Depot, San Diego, California. Regimental Color Sergeant, Drill Instructor Sergeant Daniel Reyes. Series 1025, Series Chief Drill Instructor Gunner Sergeant Joshua L. Rivera. Emblem 2, 1025, Senior Drill Instructor Gunner Sergeant Angel A. Cabrera Jr. Instructor Staff Sergeant Eugene Galvan.
and gentlemen, if you turn to page 21 of your graduation pamphlets, you will find the Marine's Hymn. The Marine's Hymn has a history dating back to 1859. It is a long-standing tradition for Marines to face the direction of music and stand at attention when it is heard. It is now directed that all Marines present and who have served honorably, and ladies and gentlemen, you are all encouraged to join. Sing the words of the first verse as Marine Ben San Diego performs, anchors away, followed by the Marine's Hymn. Will the guests please rise? Please be seated. The Marine Corps' uniqueness and strength as an elite fighting force is directly attributable to the magnificent efforts of the drill instructors and company officers who train and supervise the recruits. The distinct qualities of spirit and discipline the heart and soul of every Marine have been developed, nurtured, and ingrained in recruits through their observance and relationship with their drill instructors and officers. Recruit training is the very foundation of the Corps. Each year, recruit training provides thousands of America's finest young men and women with the basic knowledge and skills to function in a profession characterized by its own set of high values and tough standards. The most important thing we do in the Marine Corps is make Marines. The individual Marine is the Corps. That is what we do here. For the Marines graduating today, the long, arduous journey of the last 13 weeks is but a small step into the future of the Marine Corps. As they prepare to fill the ranks of our Corps, they do so with unquestionable support for the high ideals and standards of the United States of America and the United States Marine Corps. Although Company B prepares for their final dismissal from boot camp today, their initial training is not over. Soon, after graduation, they will report to the School of Infantry, Camp Pendleton, California, where they will continue to be trained to serve as an effective member of a Marine Rifle Squad. The intense initial training that every Marine undergoes is designed to instill the fundamental premise that every Marine is a rifleman. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, we would like to introduce to you the Marines responsible for ensuring the success of the difficult transition required to become a Marine. The company commander is Captain Mason A. Wallace. The company first sergeant is First Sergeant Jason D. Brooks. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in a round of applause for the company staff of Company B. The 
next portion of the ceremony will be the traditional function of retiring the Guidons. The Guidons have been carried by the platoons throughout recruit training and are being retired to symbolize the disbanding of platoons. All similar units in the Marine Corps carry such guidons, which identify the unit and are a source of pride to each individual member. Note that the honor of carrying these guidons is bestowed upon those Marines who displayed outstanding leadership qualities, motivation, and character, and were selected as the platoon honor graduates. The platoon honor graduates compete for the titles of series and company honor graduate. They are considered the top Marines graduating today and have demonstrated the highest potential for future leadership and responsibility in the Marine Corps. The Guidons will now be returned to the drill instructors. graduates will now be presented a plaque by the battalion commander, Lieutenant Colonel Grayson, and the battalion sergeant major, Sergeant Major Browning. Ladies and gentlemen, please hold your applause until all honor graduates have been recognized. The honor graduate for Platoon 1021 is Private First Class Luke S. Burley from Boise, Idaho. The honor graduate for Platoon 1022 is Private First Class Gregory D. Samarin from Riverside, California. The honor graduate for Platoon 1023 and the company honor graduate is Private First Class William C. Goldman from Flower Mountain, Texas. Private First Class Goldman is also the recipient of the Chesty Puller Award for his outstanding meritorious performance while in recruit training. The honor graduate for Platoon 1025 and the series honor graduate is Private First Class Daniel W. Gillen from Henderson, Nevada. The honor graduate for Platoon 1026 is Private First Class Graham S. Smith from Los Angeles, California. And the honor graduate for Platoon 1027 is Private First Class Colson V. Nivens from Billings, Montana. 
Ladies and gentlemen, the honor graduates of Company B. The company first sergeant will now give the command to the senior drill instructors to dismiss their platoons. Needless to say, this will be the most welcome command they have received throughout recruit training. Senior drill instructor, dismiss your platoon! Aye, 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 first sergeant! Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes today's ceremony.